Yeah, welcome to this video. I'm playing the tooth picker from the US. Many Americans today. So, um, yeah, the night off. And um, I'll play this slow bishop e3 line. Yeah, a4, king h1, many moves. This is uh, one of the possible lines. Hmm. Is there d5 coming? Hmm, maybe. Yeah, what, whatever you you can say about uh, the guy, he's playing very quickly. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh no, ninety five. I just I just give away e four. This is stupid. Hmm. Bishop f three, knight e five, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Want to improve the the pieces here a bit. The knight on b three isn't particularly well placed. Hmm. Okay, I'll take it. You never know if you get the chance again to, to grab the, the bishops. Okay, so... Hmm. Knight to c4. I don't really want to take on e5. This uh, looks looks awful. Knight c4 though is um, is tricky, and this bishop on f4 is somehow in a in a bad spot. Maybe knight to d4. It's um, yeah a bit a bit strange this position. Yeah okay, I need to take with the pawn. Yeah, this is curious. I wouldn't. Ex I didn't expect that at all. Hmm. Okay, so I get the knight on d5, or he will or he sacks on c3 now. Otherwise, the knight on d5 is uh, is terrible. Hmm. Yeah, let's go there. Yeah, now I have this <laughs> this funny funny position type where the knight on d5 is uh, really wow. Yeah, now he's got a weak queen side as well. We can wow b4 is good, taking is good. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, c I could play against the a pawn or against the b pawn, so I, I went for the a pawn. The nice feature is now that the knight on d5 protects the c3 and b4. So this is really the the, the typical octopus knight. Hmm. Yeah, I need to I need to get rid of the queens, which would help enormously. Queen a4. Yeah, queen a4. He probably needs to exchange now. Yeah, this was was an alternative, but I thought I would just this impress improve my position. Okay, where is he going? I'm also in this long diagonal, which could prove useful. I mean, queen b5, maybe f4, just f4. Yeah, takes rook takes. Um, is, is, is cannot do that. Takes rook takes rook takes knight f6 double check and queen g8 mate. It's actually cute. <laughs> okay, he saw that probably. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, let's uh, well let's play the end game. It's not not bad at all. Rook d4. Hmm, not sure. Check. Maybe the check first to get his king back, and then um, and then um, then cover the pawn. Hmm. Should I cover it? Or is there something better? No, let's cover it. Yeah, that's, that's that's the easiest way to to go. Uh, maybe you can play a5, but, but I have b5, not a big deal. No, cannot take here anyway, rook, rook c1. Yeah, I, I gave this check first to make sure his king is, is, is far, far back. Okay, I can actually go here. I want to use the king. King needs to be on d3. He will probably give the check. I just play king d3 and then take h6. And check. at the end he's, he's got all weak pawns. And uh, in fact, where does the rook go? Uh, this is even better. The rook doesn't have a square. C6 and C8 are, are answered by knight E7. Yeah, I didn't see that before. <laughs> I was only thinking rook back and rook H6 and let's win this endgame. Black forfeits due to disconnection. Yeah. What can you do? This uh, rook is lost. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just a very bad endgame. This uh, this this type of type of structure. Maybe I had something something better. It looked uh, it looked terrible. Um, I'm not sure about f4 actually. I mean, maybe just strengthening the position is even better. I was a bit, I was a bit captivated by this stuff. I mean, you check, <laughs> checkmate. You like those tricks, but uh, it's it's maybe not. It wasn't maybe the the best way. Somehow I cannot. Hmm, why? I cannot turn the moves back. This is strange. I can do that, but I cannot. Cannot uh, delete them. This is weird. I would like to. I would like to have analyzed this a bit more. Yeah. In fact, um, here I was, as mentioned, captivated by this trick. But the end game was probably good. But maybe um, a, a slow move here is also good because in the game when we had exchanged, I cannot even draw here. Strange. Uh, when we had exchanged e5 against f3, so e4 was a bit weak. This endgame would be even better with the pawns on e5 and f3 on the board. Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching.